Hello my beautiful Libras, welcome to my channel. This is your favorite fortune teller Divine Light and today I'm going to do a coffee cup reading for the next four months and this is going to be from September through December and at the end I'm going to pull up a card from this uh, oopsie, uh, Jack Nicom's messages from heaven uh, and this, like if you have any questions in your mind to be answered in a situation what you want to do what you need to do you can just hold that in your mind as well. Let's jump into your reading. Let's see what's coming your way. By the way, if you're enjoying these videos, don't forget to give them a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Okay. Wow. On the bottom, it's a little looking a little dark. I see eye right there, but it's not very visible. So like um, I usually interpret it as negative energy, but it's not very visible. So it's not going to affect your life prominent. It's not going to have a prominent effect within this four months. So I see communication lines are appearing. So maybe if you want to connect with someone or maybe somebody who's actually further away from you, that connection will be made during this period of time, during the fourth four months. I see someone here. This looks like somebody with like curly hair. Man, though, this looks like a man to me. Maybe like just you can see his face. Somebody is actually communicating with you here. Uh, there is that small heart in between you guys. Maybe there's some. This is someone that you actually had a connection in the past, but um, didn't have like um um anything further maybe there's someone that you actually uh, get along well but don't really have a um, good connection yet maybe there's gonna be um like a relationship forming between you guys this doesn't have to be romantic this can also be a friendship also even maybe like a business partnership this is actually going to come within a month or so which comes up to september and right after that i see here a star forming you can see the star shape star is a good sign and there's a bird or even maybe like a fairy on top of the star star means which fulfillment in tarot star card means that your desires and wishes are being fulfilled it's the i think it's the sign of aquarius it's just the uh, new endeavors new adventures are going to be showing up in your life that's an indication of that and the fairy uh, actually it's a good sign means it's going to bring you abundance when this thing comes you you're going to be your desires are going to be fulfilled and um, your wishes and whatever that you have in your heart that you desire is actually going to manifest itself i see here after that there's in the bottom of the cup the darkness indicates that maybe you don't really have um any hope right now or maybe like your desires are not really manifesting the way you want them to be but this doesn't mean that um it's there's all dark out there okay everything is actually going to brighten up you can see like there's grumpy child's face here maybe you are asking for like a certain job maybe you want to work in a certain place you need money the things are not really working out the way you want them to be that's why you're feeling this a little bit like a negative energy surrounding you in your heart um maybe you're even just putting this negative energy in your heart that's why it is causing you to have this evil eye on the bottom of the cup the best way to get rid of that is just just uh take a salt bath or maybe a step on the earth just clean your energy up or even like meditate or say a little prayer like um whatever the prayer that you believe in makes things happen because in every religion there are prayers to ask from god and um, say those prayers and ask for what you want and let God take care of it. Let let God <clears throat> take it over. And I feel like within the second month, yes, you will. You're going to say, you know what? Okay, I'm just letting it go. And I see here, this looks like a violin. There's an arrow inside of it. Arrow is a good sign because it's the symbol of Sagittarius. And Sagittarius is the fire sign. Fire sign is uh, actually on the on the other hand of the fire sign. Sagittarius is a very active sign, and they is they are the rolling energy. They make things done. They they are always inspired. They follow their in, in, in inspiration, and so you're embodying this energy. And I see an eye also appearing right here. So 
when you embody this energy, uh, you're going to start taking some attention. You're going to getting some feedback. The people are going to show up. The things are going to start to roll on. They're going to be seeing you and maybe like demanding your work as well towards the end of the second month from now, uh, which is the October. And the November, I see here an angel type of a person appearing with beautiful aura. And uh, this can be you elevating, upgrading your energies, or can be someone actually going to show up to give you a hand and maybe elevate your energy. This person has a bag of money on their back. This can be like um, help that you're going to be receiving from this person or uh, the upgrade that they're going to be giving you, whatever this is in your situation, whatever, however this applies. Maybe this person is going to give you a boost or a help in your situation will actually going to improve when they do. And uh, you're going to be dealing with them uh, around that third month. And the fourth month, I see here, there's a baby girl. You can see, like, she has a mm, ponytail and playing with her little dinosaur. Dinosaurs are a good sign, which is actually representative of, like, um, dinosaurs and the dragons. They are representative of money. And, and the dinosaurs are representative of getting, like, major help and ancient knowledge and like whatever the thing that you need at that moment will be actually presented to you and the child part is actually telling me be in your um joy in your like whatever gives you joy follow that energy when you follow that energy you're going to manifest more of what you want okay and that's exactly what you're doing and then i see hardship with a key maybe you're manifesting a house a place for yourself or new opportunities um new car the key is appearing with a heart shape. Can't even be a marriage, you know, if that's what you're manifesting. I see a letter T somewhere right there. Can be in someone's first name or the last name. There's a A, like Tammy, and also a boot in the third month, uh, the fourth month, excuse me. Means that uh, that's a good sign. Boot indicates travel. So maybe in December, you're going to have some travels, meet some people, and that's going to change your environment and aura totally with the help of this person that wasn't coming up in the third month. In the fourth month, you're going to be traveling, enjoying yourself, and this will actually start to bring more of what you desire into your life with that energy. All right, guys, I'm going to get into your plate now. If you have a question, a desire, an intention, just hold it in your mind. and Let's see what the answer is going to be for that one. Wow, yeah, there's a big chunk of money showing here for you if you're manifesting money. And your desire is actually going to be coming on time in the perfect way possible. See letter H here. There are two people by, side by side. This can be like a new relationship forming and they're just connected. This can be like you, like I said. I see here uh, like a, someone with horns. This looks like a dog, but... Um, dog is a good sign it's an indication of loyalty someone very loyal to you and i saw that dog had some horns but this one doesn't have horns you see the dog here um so horns can be an indication of maybe aries or taurus or a capricorn showing up for you if that's what you're desiring also like your desire is coming really soon and there's a person showing up with a huge bag of money as well uh, this can be like a new offer for you and this is also you in a ball gown or like in a beautiful enjoying like a dress that you're enjoying yourself like if this is a male watching this this can be also a female that you're manifesting into your life showing up and enjoying life together with you new horizon is definitely showing and if any of you planning to move there is actually like packing up and moving within the third month, like between the second and third month. There is going to be an opportunity for you to jump, like pack up your stuff and leave. And there are actually so many people waiting for you wherever you're going. Like you are being um, manifested by them as well. And uh, with that energy, you're moving forward towards these people. And when you move forward, there's a big fish showing up here. So wherever that you're traveling, maybe there is actually a big payment coming for you as well. And uh, like I said, the money also is merging with your desire. Uh, so this can be maybe like you want things to, you want to find a new job and uh, you're asking for the new job and this is actually telling you the new job will come with new good money as well i see a mockingbird here which is actually a symbol of free freedom 
within the first month, I feel like you're going to be freeing yourself from like, if you're feeling like the things are not moving fast enough that you want. And the Mockingbird is telling you, be in that mocking and joyful energy. Just don't take life too seriously because the things are actually going to start working better than you can even imagine. Okay. All right, guys, let's pull up your card and let's see what your messages from heaven your oops sorry about that your angels your guides and whoever whatever you want the news from someone needs your support can you help them we will guide you number 35 okay this is an interesting message okay so and i want to put a second one if you have someone they will guide you okay just keep that in mind. And we have number two here, the beautiful horizon. Make room for that happy ending. It's now within your grasp. Okay, these are beautiful cards, guys. I hope this resonated with you. Number 35 and 2. And that's all for today. Hope you enjoy your reading. If you do, don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I wish you all a magical day. Bye.